Hey guys, Accurus here. Welcome back to Project Zomboid Episode 3. So we found ourselves a sledgehammer, which is huge. We haven't found ourselves an axe or uh, what was the other thing we needed? I think we, we have a saw, so we're good there. What we really need is a, an axe more than anything else. So I stowed the axe down here, and I had a, I had a good idea. Ugh, here's zombies. It's not good. Oh, he's on the other side of the fence there. All right. Oh, another, yeah, that's the sledgehammer I stowed in there. I forgot, it's only been a day or so. Um, what I was thinking was, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this place out the best I can right now. And uh, that's where I was just sleeping. And uh, my brilliant idea is that I'm gonna clear this out the best I can. And then I'm going to stow everything except for my sledgehammer and a weapon. And then I'm going to start busting down walls. That way I'm not overweight constantly and always trying to uh, to have to uh, drop the sledgehammer real quick. That way if I get attacked, I'm ready I'm ready to go. I don't need any... Uh, I don't need to switch or anything like that. So that's the idea. I think it'll be a safer way to go about things. If we could find a fire axe, I'd feel a lot better about things. Trowel. That, that's the other thing that we needed. So yeah, we'll take that. And we could really use some some uh, bags, some better bags, that's for sure. You guys really seem to be liking this series, so that's awesome, uh, because I really enjoy playing this series. And uh, this is actually a really good game for uh, for YouTube, especially when I have kind of a hit and miss schedule with uh, family things, you know, newborn and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so I, I just really enjoy the game. It's really hard for me to get back into uh, Daisy and Rust after playing this. Um, they are both excellent games. Don't get me wrong. Let's see. Oh, that's a that's a sleepy one right there. Ankle biter. Let's go get him real quick here. Kill him while he's sleeping. Let's open this door and close it real quick. There we go. That way we unlock it. We'll do the same for this one over here real quick. Um, I'm pretty sure that if we go through this wall here, there's going to be more in there, and if memory serves correct, we can actually go through, let me, let me try to remember here, I think we go through this, oh, uh, that might have been, a, that's actual dead body, okay, we've got a spade, okay, we'll take that, we're out of room in there, aren't we, yeah, we don't have enough room. Have to carry it in our primary inventory, which is kind of sucks. But if memory serves me properly, um, okay, bust through this wall, and there's like several more crates inside of here. Um, I have been here before. I'm kind of surprised I'm not running into more zombies. Actually, be careful what you wish for, though, right? quick peek outside, see how things are going. Not too bad. Alright. Let's hit these boxes down in here real quick. But yeah, primary uh, thing we're looking for, uh, another trowel, that's good. But we're looking for that axe, of course. Oh, I didn't want to drop the bowl. Spade. Okay, we're kind of maxed out here, so I want to go back to where my sledgehammer is, drop off most all of that stuff, and then we're going to start swinging a wrecking ball here. I'm always paranoid I'm going to walk into the room that I, th that I think I'm supposed to be in, but it's going to be a different one. There's going to be zombies there. That would just suck. Okay, we're going to keep the hammer. I'm going to get rid of the can opener for now. Drop that bowl for now. Uh, we got a lot of 9mm rounds. We can drop uh, most of those right there. And then let's see. Garbage bags, we can drop those. Pop, we can drop those. Tent bag, yes. Trowel, yes. Okay. 
There we go. And we'll just keep some of this junk here on us just for uh, in case we need it real quick in a pinch. Get rid of the spade. Got two of those. We should definitely be getting a lot lighter, which we are. All right. I've been thinking about how I'm going to approach this like all day. And I think what I'm doing here is probably the smart play. So we're at 6 of 16. Nothing really in there. Let's see if we can stow anything else here. In the meantime, I don't need I don't need another empty bowl. I think I need pretty much all these here. I'll put the sleeping tablets in there. Not that that's going to make much. Actually, it may be heavier, didn't it? That was kind of weird. I took it from there and put it into where it should be. I should get a weight bonus, and it actually made me go from five to six. I don't know why that happened. Huh, strange. Okay, well, if they're insisting on it, we'll just keep our sleeping pack, uh, sleeping tablets in our pocket or something. That's kind of odd. Okay. So let's grab our uh, sledgehammer and go to work. That thing's like six pounds. That's, that's why it's so heavy. Okay, and... Um, yeah, because if we find anything, we're going to pick it up. So we want to make sure we have a little extra weight. Let's go over here. And let's bust through. This is so much fun. I love I love busting through on these. Now the trick is bust through and then back up and equip your hammer. So I'm just gonna leave that window up. Here we go, we're gonna back up real quick. You can see inside. Equip our hammer. Get ready to clear. All right. Not seeing any zombies, so let's check check these crates here. Baseball bat. That's good. Uh, we'll probably take that as our weapon. Yeah, let's do that. Now you can see when I did that with the sledgehammer. I put that in my primary with both hands because you have to you have to swing both hands uh, to use it, obviously. And uh, it took my plastic bag and basically put everything from there into my main inventory, so my my weight actually shot up a little bit. And uh, that's kind of what happened to me on Lord Ugg's life. I, I accidentally clicked on the wrong bag and it put it into my main inventory and it, it over encumbered me. And uh, I was not ready for that. Another baseball bat, always good. Could use it another baseball bat. Might be the same one, I'm not sure. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these baseball bats and it might over encumber me here briefly, but I'm gonna put them all into our little storage crate that we're using as our temporary uh, loot spot. So I think maybe that was the same baseball bat. It must have been the same crate, okay. All right, so now we have two on us, all right. And then if we go up any further, we're going to actually be outside. This is the exterior wall right here, so we're going to stop there. But we will we'll go over into this room here, and I think that there's a, I think it's sort of a lobby area. So, okay. It's over here, I believe. Yeah, this is our... There we go. Okay, let's throw one of our two in here I think it'll put both of them but that's alright yeah. let's uh, equip his primary very good okay and um, I'm thinking if I have that baseball bat I really don't need a hammer with me so as much as I love the hammer I'm gonna put it back down um, how's our hammer doing? Condition? Yeah, we don't want to be using it a whole lot more, especially now that we have a baseball bat. So we're going to be whacking some zombies with that instead. Now you can take nails and you can hammer them into the baseball bat and make it a baseball bat with nails sticking out of it. And it will kill zombies faster. The only problem is that uh, it deteriorates faster. So the uh, durability of the bat's reduced. And uh, I, along with I think most people, 
think it's better just to keep the baseball bat the way it is and uh, don't uh, not don't put the nails in it so that's what we'll do okay let's bust through here back up check our corners real quick very good to go here. We're just not having any luck finding that axe. That's, that kind of sucks. Oh well. We'll find it eventually. I'd like to find it much sooner than later though, obviously. I'm starting to get bored. <laughs> uh, Alright. Check our corners. Nothing. Alright. So let's uh, let's go up here and uh, break into this room here. Check behind us. Okay, we got some good crates in there. Good amount of crates in here. Let's get rid of that window temporarily. seeing any zombies. I was paranoid about these tables that there's going to be like one of those creeping ankle biters right down there just laying there in wait. And if you hear little chirps I apologize. It's There we go. That was the uh, baby monitor there. Man we're finding all kinds of trials. They, they really want us to be a farmer but I guess they want us to farm out in the open field with no fences because they're not giving us any means to actually get wood yet. Another trial. More baseball bats. Okay. Ah, damn. Alright, guys. Well, I think what I want to do here is I am going to, uh... I believe that there's a... Oh. Oh. He's right there at that door. Somehow he made it in. That should get rid of the boredom. That took care of that problem. I don't know where he came from, actually. That's alright. We're going to, uh... Just do a quick sweep here again. Make sure none are hiding. That made me a little nervous. Uh, I think there's two. There's these little dots. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're like one pixel dots, like right there. And I think they signify the corner, the far corner from here. So, those should be two more storage units. So, I'm going to try busting into here. I can't remember if these actually have anything worthwhile or not. Uh, I think they don't. The last time I got rushed by like three zombies. So, I'm going to back up real quick on this one. sledgehammer condition yeah it's fine it's doing what it's meant to be doing so whenever you're using a tool for its intended purpose I don't think it takes any damage let's back up real quick all right there we go yeah nothing all right yeah that was a little too hopeful I think Alright, let's head on down here. You know what? We need to get some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sneak over to the foreman's office here, or to the uh, storage unit office. And there's a water water uh, container in here. Okay. If I can do it without drawing any attention, I'll be happy. Yeah, it looks like it's actually pretty quiet out here. Knock on wood. That's a that's a creeper right there. So is that one, ankle biter. Right, let's try the door. Of course not. Now knowing my luck, I'm gonna go in here and it's just gonna be alarmed. But we're gonna get a drink here real quick. Let's kill this guy real quick if we can. <laughs> that was an interesting 
Interesting zombie sound, to say the least. Wow. Alright, I don't think there's anything there. I'll leave these both open in case I need to jump in here real quick. Maybe. There we go. Starting to get a little hungry, so let's go ahead and eat. Uh, we'll equip this back as our secondary. Looks like the items are still in there. Okay, so let's have a little, little bit of chips here. And we're going to go over and hit these storage lots that are separate from the main building. We're just not having any luck on this one. I'd, I'd really like to find something worthwhile, but... They wouldn't call it fishing if all you did was catch fish. Alright. Two more. Come on. Fire X. Fire X. No. No, 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 no. Alright, tent kit. That's kind of nice to have, actually, in case we need to make a run to uh, Muldraw, which is going to be a multi-day journey. So we'll take the tent kit. It's three pounds. Wow, it's kind of heavy, actually. Because we'll have to sleep out in the woods if we uh, or out along the roadway if we do decide to go that route. All right, let's uh, go back to our sledgehammer. Man... Oh, you know what? Yeah, you can't. Whenever it's invisible, the wall, you can't actually break through it. So you actually have to come in through the visible wall for some reason. It won't let you select it. I was thinking this wouldn't be too bad of a uh, place to put a uh, uh, to put a safe house. Actually, tons of storage. There's some places to sleep. You got water on the premises. Now, I don't know if that big water jug there requires electricity or not. Because, in, I mean, in real life, I don't think it, it really does to, to work. To function, it doesn't require it. So, starting to get a little late. I'm going to try to make it through as many of these as possible. Before we have to go to bed again. Alright, let's back up real quick. Baseball bat. Let's clear it. Nothing. Just keep going. Wow, I certainly was hoping this episode would be a little more exciting, but a little more celebrating, but so far. You know, we're, I mean, we are finding garden trails like crazy, and we got ourselves a baseball bat, so that's always good. But I would like to find a fire axe for you guys. <laughs> Not cigarettes. Uh, finding plenty of cigarettes. I think we have two more rooms to go on this storage lot, and then we're going to have to go get some sleep because it's getting dark. We soon won't be able to even see what we're doing in here. Nothing. Last one, and we gotta go. Okay. There's a good. Ch there's a chance. There's a chance. cigarettes. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get back to our little little bed for the evening and then we'll hit this this storage lot on the in the next episode. That is what it is. Did I check I hope I check these bodies. If these if one of these has an axe on it and I failed to check it I'd be kind of I'd be very happy that I found one, but I'd be kind of pissed at myself at the same time. Okay. 
telling us we're thirsty again, so we'll go up and get another drink real quick. Come back down here and get to sleep. And we're starting to get bored. Or tired. Okay, tired. It's better than bored. I think I checked this guy. There we go. I was really I was really expecting to find at least one here. In all these places. Alright, I think we'll just stay in one of these chairs for the night. Well guys, you know, it is what it is, but uh man. I really, really was hoping to find that fire axe in this episode so, but hey you know when we do find one I guess it's going to be that much more uh, enjoyable so let's just go ahead and get to sleep and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode and I'm going to be uh, releasing these at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time on a daily basis so make sure you subscribe if you want to be uh, kept up to speed on that and uh, like comment always appreciated thank you for watching and like I said, tomorrow, and hopefully tomorrow, we're going to get into a little more action. So I'll see you then. Take care, guys.